Yo, what is up? This is Matt and Justin Thomas calling in from all across the United States. It's time for us to shout out the various things that we want you World Cup and soccer lovers to look out for. Things that you might that won't that won't be covered by all places. Um, I have a couple things, Justin. I want you to still jump in. I think from Brazil, uh, I, I want. Uh, I'm really hoping to see one random thing is I want to see Danny Alves rip the back of the net with a free kick. I think he's got a top left foot. I love seeing left back, left foot, so that should be fun to see. Uh, Mexico, what's up that coach? He has a nice lock of hair. And he has a thick green tie normally. He has fun. Big guy, not doesn't look, he looks like yeah, he's a little past his playing days. He's running around with uh, fun to watch. Uh, Croatia. I'd like to see someone play chess on their chess on, on their jersey uh, or checkers, one or two. Uh, Samuel Otto, basically the man, and, and for Cameroon, uh, he did it. He did it uh, for Chelsea when he was briefly playing recently, and then he did it. Um, I believe it was a couple, a couple days ago. He did what's called the old man celebration. There, what talks about he's thirty plus, and he talks. He does a little kind of old man celebration. So. When they're down four to zero to Brazil, maybe he'll get one away and show you how to show you a fun celebration. And kind of the last thing I want to shout out um, is I'm really hoping for a great celebration from Clint Dempsey or Altador. Uh I'm really hoping for a, a shout out to one of our various hip hop dance crazes, uh, the D.L.O. Shuffle, the new one, uh, Chicago Roots, where the USA Soccer Federation is housed. I show the field kind of or if you're uh, familiar with the Nay Nay, I think Outdoor and uh, and Dempsey both have some hip hop connection. If you look at Dempsey, Dempsey's Twitter, he looks like he's, he's friends with his fellow so Houston, Houston friend uh, Bun B. Uh, and I think he's he in a rap a little bit too. Uh, hopefully it's not embarrassing. I, I don't know. I don't want to listen to it because I don't want to lose my favorable perception of Clint Dempsey, you know, that he didn't rap in bed because he might think he's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, those are my shout-outs. Um, I think now we're going to move to what everyone's been waiting for, what we think is going to end up being the semifinals final, and who we will think will raise the holy grail of soccer, the golden trophy, the World Cup. I will say I'm going to say semifinals, JT, and then you can say your semifinals will go all right. Well, hold on, hold on. Do I get some shout outs too? Is that is that uh, is that not all right? Oh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, all right, good. I, I, I you just, just my fault, my fault. Oh, you're good. You just kept oh, going. I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, one more, one more. Oh, you got one more. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping if Brazil wins, I see Rihanna dancing on the party bus with the Brazil team and or I would, I would settle for I'm hoping Brazil wins because I believe Rihanna would celebrate with Brazil or I'm hoping <laughs> in the chance Spain celebrates I want to see Shakira dancing with PK because I believe that's her husband and they have uh, a beautiful beautiful family together uh, so I want to hope to see I, I like I, I remember Hips Don't Lie still a great song and I hope to see I like to see Shakira Hold that trophy high and dance dance to be fun to see. All right, cool. All right, my shout outs is I want to see uh, uh, Fred score a goal, at least one goal for Brazil in the World Cup because, I mean, who can not love when Ian Dark says, Ho ho, it's Fred! Look at that! And, and, and it really, that was a crappy British accent, but it's just funny to me that his name's Fred. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm hoping that uh, he can score a goal uh, just because I, I think that. That would be awesome. Um, for Germany, I'm hoping that my boy Klaza, he can score uh, at least two goals. Um, hopefully not against the United States, but hopefully two goals to take over that all-time scoring record. Um, well, one of my favorite players in the world. Where's the number 11? That's my favorite number that uh, I like to wear when we're playing in real soccer. Uh, so I'm hoping something, something great uh, can happen there for him. Um, I'm hoping all of the Chelsea players in the World Cup could do well, get some goals. Obviously, uh, Oscar and David Luiz at, at, at Brazil, Hazard over in Belgium, Samuel Atto, as you had mentioned before, in Cameroon. Um, 
possibly Diego Costa. I think he, he what is coming now there, but from from Spain. But it'll be uh, nice to have all those guys uh, really contribute, do well. Um, I'm also for Belgium. I'm excited about uh, Lukaku. I think he's the next uh, Didier Drogba. And as we know, Drogba is just a very fantastic rock for Ivory Coast. So I'm excited to see what he can do in the World Cup uh, uh, for a very dangerous Belgium squad. Um, I'm hoping uh, to see a lot of goals coming from the USA. Um, and I, I, you know, those dancers are fine that you that you want to see Clint and Josie do. That's that's fine with me. I just I want to see USA do very well and and score some goals. And my final shout out. Um, I I I don't know if you ever noticed this or not. Um, Oh, one one more Chelsea player, uh, Frank Lampard uh, from England. I uh, can't forget Frank. I uh, hope he does well. Maybe he could score a, a penalty or so because that's usually the spot taker. Um, but my final shout-out is for Italy. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but Gigi Buffon sings that national anthem every time You know they play the anthem at the beginning, but he is always louder than the entire stadium singing this national anthem and and i just love it love hearing him sing the national anthem so i'm excited to see that there's my shout outs i have one more oh man one general one i have too many to count the one more is i shall i just watch and i'm hoping that as long as possible it can be tied they can even get a slight lead the teams that literally everyone's writing off i just want to see them have some some uh excitement and hold a lead like I want to see if possibly if Iran can just hold Argentina yeah. Argentina scoreless for 70 minutes I think it would be fun to see the, the, the live shots of I'm guessing Iran would be like the middle of the night I don't I mean I don't know uh, but I think that would be fun to see if Iran held, held them scoreless for 70 minutes but theoretically if they somehow got a penalty early and I, I think Argentina would probably throw back at one side and one but I think <laughs> the, the players and the, the country uh, be excited, or also, if possibly Cameroon could could get an early lead. I think it'd be fun to see those players go crazy, and it'd be interesting to see how loud the boos, the boobers will get in uh, in Rio. But anyway, let's get to our semifinal pick. Um, I, will, I guess I'll go first. Uh, I got on one side. I have Brazil. I think they have a somewhat. As far as getting the side finals go, somewhat favorable road there. It's not the most difficult I've seen. And then I believe, I think uh, Germany is just too deep and too experienced uh, to get. And then the other side, I think Spain as well, so experienced, so deep. And I then I have uh, Argentina taking on Spain as well. I think they're going to mix up physical as well as. Uh, that. Very nice. I got one of those the same. I'll tell you which one it is. I got Brazil. I think oh, wow. yeah, Brazil I think is going to do very well on their home side. I got Brazil taking on Germany in that first semifinal. I think the Germans um, proven time after time in all the, the several major tournaments they've been in. They, they've at least gotten to the semifinals um, and, and and all of those uh, with, the, with the finals appearance in 08. Um, I, th- I think the other side, this is where it gets tricky. I got Italy upsetting Spain. I, well, I don't know if it's an upset or not, but Italy, wow. to me, I think, uh, uh, you know, Possibly Pirlo and Buffon's last kind of run here, um, especially with the fact that how unpredictable is, is Super Mario Balotelli. I think that could be a, a difference there. Um, I'm taking Italy to beat to put themselves there in the semifinals against another team. I, I feel like every year, well, every World Cup year, I should say. There is one country that makes a wild run, and you're like, where the heck did this country come from? Because it's not one of the big names, and it's kind of a, a, a very interesting squad there. Um, I believe Bulgaria was one of those teams that made the semifinals back in the 90s. Turkey, another one. This year, I'm taking Belgium. Um, I think wow. I think Belgium gets to that semifinal spot to take on Italy. Um, I think this is a very talented young team. I think they can go deep into the tournament. Wow, some upsets there from Justin Thomas. I, I'm going to move to my finals and my, my and 
I guess will be my champion pick. I don't like to be a homer. You know that, Jay? I'm not a homer. I don't like to go to Sherlock. I think you know that from my terrible and outrageous NCAA Final Four basketball. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's really hard for me not to see the final being Brazil and Argentina. Uh, they have, I mean, obviously Ronaldo's one of the best players in the world, but aside from Ronaldo, you would say the two best players are right currently Neymar and Messi. And I think Neymar, he's, a, he's put on a clinic right now. I think they're gonna, the way their group is set up and the various teams are going to play leading up to the knockout round and early knockout round, they're going to have so much confidence, this young team. I think everyone's going to be so scared of them. And obviously, they're all, the, still, the, the, the tournament, was, the World Cup was hosted by Anchorage, Alaska. They would still maybe a favorite, let alone <laughs> the hell in their country. Right. So I think it, it, it makes it even harder for other teams when you're, the, when you're a favorite no matter where it's played. And I think the young team will gain experience constantly throughout. Uh, they kind of they, they get to play uh, the Egypt team early, and then Argentina. I think they're so deep. I think they're a lot like uh, a lot like Brazil. I mean, they're deep and they have some young talent, but they also have one of the best players. And I, 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 I unfortunate for for the, the fans in Brazil. I, I think Argentina. I, you might want to, I guess you would call it an upset. An upset is going to upset Brazil in the final. I think they're a little too physical in the midfield for them, and I think I think the experience that the experience that they have in offense, including Messi, I think it'd be I think it's going to be one of the best finals if that happens, especially in Brazil, Argentina, Brazil. I think it'd be electric. I think it could be one of those finals that could end up being three-two or something. Um, so I, I think Messi falls in the footsteps of Maradona and delivers a World Cup to Argentina. I, I, that's, that's what I got. All right. I got, I'm, I think Brazil um, will be able to, uh, even though the Germans play a very physical style uh, play of football uh, at, at times, I think that Brazil is going to get the win against Germany, and I think the Germans are once again going to fall just short coming into the semifinals, um, but but then uh, just fall short to Brazil, especially because it's on home soil. I think Brazil is going to win that game against Germany. I think this is where Belgium's dark horse run comes to an end. I think Italy, um, just with, with the just their experience and, and their style of play and how good they are. I think Italy gets the win over Belgium. So I got a Brazil versus Italy championship. Well, not championship. I got the World Cup wow. final. Uh, yep, Brazil versus Italy. One thing I do want to say here, though, I'm going to go the extra mile here. Third place match, I'm going to take Germany over Belgium. Um, so, oh, wow. to, so there's that. I just figured I'd let you know. Uh, but the World Cup final, um, despite the fact that Italy was really the only team that, other than Uruguay, that really put a scare into Brazil in that Confederations Cup. Um, it went back and forth. Italy was the only team that really, I, th I think Brazil maybe beat Uruguay like 2-1 or something like that in the group stage. And then in the in the semifinal, I believe that's where Brazil beat Italy like 4-2. Um, I think Brazil on home soil. I, I mean, and the fact that no European team has ever won. I think Brazil... Um, I think Brazil is just they find everything's finally clicking. They they get their players are finally playing up to their potential. Um, they're they're the Brazil of old. I think Brazil wins this World Cup on home soil uh, and, and is crowned the world champions. That's what I got. All right. Well, thanks JT for participating in this with me, and thanks for doing some of the video and the audio editing. I hope everyone who listened across the U.S. or maybe possibly across the country world uh, finds it and it finds a science ball found that's entertaining maybe stu stupid at some point hopefully when half of our predictions are wrong and you look back you don't make yourself too bad a name uh, leave us a comment on Facebook or hit me up on Twitter at Matt underscore Ostro uh, I think if I'm right JT we'll try we're going to do after the group stage or maybe after the round maybe do a quick recap video of all yeah. the great action that we have happening so absolutely once again the one timers with Matt Justin <laughs>